Friends, it's April Holly Smith and it is time to have a look at the ads. So if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning visitor, hooray! I'm so glad you're back. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ads. I'm going to tell you um, the stuff that is on sale versus the stuff that's not on sale and is a regular price. It just happens to be in this ad. And then if there are things that are on sale that are or are not a good actual price for a sale. So we're going to start with save a lot ad and then we're going to move to the Aldi's ad, which is our tradition. So here is a save a lot ad on the front. We have uh, some deals. Now I will say something about this. So two for seven, that's 350 per pound, which is still a bit high, but I will say it is, it is a one pound package. It's actually 16 ounces. Whereas a lot of times when you see things on sale for 299 or 249, they're only a 12 ounce package. So this is not a bad deal at all. I've had this bacon before. It is not terrible bacon. It's, it's good enough to eat for sure. Um, and it also freezes well. I personally have froze it and pulled it out and had no issues with it at all. It tasted real good. This is not a knock my socks off deal. I feel like you can get this deal kind of all over the place. So right here, this um, $2.99 for this beef bottom roast, this, this deal comes around pretty regular. So if you want this, go ahead and get it, no problem. But if it's not super knocking your socks off, just know that you can wait until next time because in two or three weeks like typically once a month you're seeing this deal at this price so you don't have to be like freaked out about like how am I going to sandwich this into my budget this time so right here we have the bone in assorted pork loin chops I'm going to tell you um this is a family pack which translates into five pound trays or um sometimes they have an extra deep tray instead of the, the the real flat ones. I'm not a super fan of this assorted because what they do is on the top, they put these ones here where the bones here or this T-bone style, like things you recognize. And then underneath they hide these weird cut ones. And I, I don't love that, especially with the bone in. This is, an, this is an okay deal. It's not the best for potatoes for an eight pound bag. That typically you're gonna see in, um, November and December because that is the Super Bowl of food savings. That's the big shebang, but this is not a bad deal. And as long as you keep them in a cool, dark, dry location, potatoes will keep for a super long time. So if you're going to get one or two of these to have them on hand, grr eight. Also, I'm going to highly recommend something that I do to you is once a week, I like to pull the crock pot out. I load up the crock pot with however many potatoes that can go in there, put yay amount of water in the bottom, put the lid on it, let it go all day. And then I put them in the refrigerator. They are great too for super quick meals, um, for quick reheated baked potatoes. It takes like 15 minutes in the, the oven. So like when you're cooking something, you can just throw them in there along with whatever meat you're doing. And they, you magically have completely totally well done big potatoes um you can slice them and fry them really fast because you're not having to cook the potato you're just crisping the edge again super fast for breakfasts or uh, sometimes i make them just for snacks for my kids they're really really wonderful um if you're gonna do like a french fry they also work really good because again you just have to crisp the outside instead of cooking the potato all the way through because that is already done big fan big fan big fan um this is okay um again this is better than usual uh, so if you're going to get one of these, I'm not going to, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Um, but again, the, the, the Super Bowl of deals is when you see this at the 69 cent price point. And again, same time, November, December is when you're going to see that again. Um, just like these, if you keep them in a cool, dark, dry place, these onions will keep for a good long time, but you do not want to store your ovens, your onions and your potatoes together because the they will off gas each other, which means they will cause each other to ripen super fast and spoil. So don't do that. Okay. So here we have these special buys. It's this green, um, section. Now this is an important thing in the save a lot ad for two reasons. Number one, 
these are things they don't usually have and they don't carry all the time. So they have gotten a shipment. They've made a purchase, a special purchase. Um, these are not damaged goods. These are first quality goods. But the second reason that is really important to have a look at this is Save-A-Lot does accept coupons on name brands. So for example, Prego, if you have a coupon for this, this, this price might not, it's not knocking my socks off. Let's just say that. But if you had a dollar off or 75 or 50 cents off, all of a sudden, this is looking like a much better deal. So while I can't say, oh, get this deal for every person that watches this video, I can tell you to check your circulars, see if there's a coupon, because some of these deals might be better than they look in your major media market. Because just like the ads, coupons are not the same in every media market. Pop-Tarts, I see coupons for these all the time. These things right here specifically, I think have I've never gone without a coupon for them. I don't think I've ever bought them without a coupon. So um, these could be really great deals. Uh, I don't know that I've ever seen one on Skippy, but sometimes you see them on Hungry Man, sometimes not. But anything that is a name brand, you can put you if you have a coupon, you can use it for this special buy at save a lot none of these for particularly knocking my socks off um but i do want you to know about that coupon thing because you just need to double check all right so we're going to get into this section and this section Ooh, i'm just going to cram it all in in one shot so the thing that you need to know about these sections nothing here is on sale not one stinking thing is different than a regular price so none of it um so what does that mean for you? It means that you can be advised that these products are available at the store. They have them all the time and this is what they cost. So there is no need to uh, feel a sense of urgency to get them and there's no need to stock up on them. So we're just gonna kind of move past this back on the back. We have more food, which is great. Um, this is meh, not great for me. Um, Okay, so here we go. We have this family pack again. Again, that's going to be five pounds. It's really important because they show you this price so that when you are making your shopping list, which typically, look, I've done math on this one. When I make my shopping list, this is how I do it. And I have a whole video. I will try to link it at the end. If I say, okay, I need one dozen eggs. So typically at my oldies, they've been a dollar 19 I'm just going to say a dollar 20 because it's easier so one times a dollar 20 is a dollar 20 and then I would put my running total so like I'm going to say I need two things of bread that is going to be 80 cents so that's a dollar 60 now if I put a dollar 60 six seven eight two that's my running total so I know where I'm at in my budget so when you do this it's five times I'm just going to say two dollars so if I did one of these chops I'm going to say two, that's $10 because it's one, you know, a dollar 99 times five. That's going to be my average $10. So I had two of them would be $20. So then I would be here at $12 and 80 cents. So that's typically how I keep my list. And, um, same thing here. This is also going to be a five pound pack. Now, Something I want to say about these split chicken breasts, this is a bad price. You should never pay more than 99 cents for a split chicken breast. What is that? I think we all know what a boneless, skinless chicken breast is because it is it is kind of like the most popular um, chicken out there. It's super easy. You take it out of the package, you throw it on your frying pan, you throw it in the oven, it's ready to go. It is. This is the same piece of chicken. The only difference is, is that this is my chicken drawing. A chicken breast is kind of like that. It has this like side here. Underneath, there are rib bones on here. And then there's this one guy that sticks up kind of here. So actually, they're just as easy to use. I really like to bake them in the oven. That's my favorite. And then as soon as they're done, you can actually, once they're cool, you can just lift it right off of the bones here. Um, and it's like literally half the price. So I'm a fan of those. But like I said, not at that price. Fresh, boneless, beef bottom round steak, family pack. Okay, now here, because this is a steak at my Save-A-Lot, that means three steaks is a family pack. So 
for your planning purposes. Like if you have, you know, a family of four with two teenagers, you need four steaks. If you have a family of five with three toddlers, you could possibly cut up one steak and <laughs> totally share it amongst those three. So this might work for you. So I want you to be uh, educated when you go in and when you plan, whether you're going to need one or two or, you know, what's going to work for your family. Family pack, again, five pounds. Um, I'm not a super fan of the assorted ones, but these are specific center cut pork loin chops, so I don't hate these. Although, I will tell you that my preference is actually the center cut boneless, which is the, the loin chops, because I can buy a pork loin for $1.89 every single day of the week, all day long, which is cheaper than this. And all I have to do is cut the loin. A loin is, is a long shaped piece of meat. There's a wide end and a skinny end. You, typically what you do is you cut the ends off and those are both um, a roast. And in the center, they just cut slices and that's your boneless center cut chops. And I will tell you that there are times where I've had an actual whole loin on sale in this very ad for $1.69. And on the back, they'll have center cut loin chops for $2.99, double the price. So you can cut your own and save a ton of money. I don't see anything down here that is really knocking my socks off. This cap cabbage, I would like to see at 39 cents. Now coming up, the St. Patrick's Day holiday should be the cheapest time of year for this particular product. Something I will say is that if you keep this in your produce drawer in your refrigerator, it will literally keep forever. I mean, just gobs of time, like months almost. So if you need it now, that's cool. If not, hold out for another like two or three weeks and you should see this on sale. All right, let's get over to the Aldi's ad have to un unfurl it. Okay, so right here we have our top three. There are three products here. It's all cooked shrimp, not the uh, peel and cook yourself. Why is this on sale? And I'm kind of surprised there's nothing in save a lot, but because Lent is here, is Lent is, is upon us basically. It's coming, it's on us. So we are going to see lots of seafood deals coming up because of that. Uh, and that's what this is. See, it, th this is not a bad deal. I feel like it's a good time to buy this because they're already frozen in almost every case. Take it home and just stick it back in your freezer and then you can literally have cheaper shrimp forever. This is okay. For this time of year, this is probably darn good. Um, I'm sure these are the remainders after the Valentine's Day holiday. This is a good deal for oranges. Oranges are in season right now, so this is a go price. All right, so now we're getting down to this section here. Um, these green beans, these were $1.69 last week, and if you watched my haul, actually, if you watched this ad from last week where we looked at the, the ads week from the ads video from last week, it had these and they're like, oh, it's so cheap. We can't even publish the price. So I did make a point to show you in the haul video what the price was when I went in store. Not great to me. I'm like, this is meh. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm not there. This also, $1.29 like is the regular price for my pineapple. Um, and 99 cents is the sweet spot. So I'm just not feeling that at all. I'm not digging it. These cucumbers are a go price. If you are a cucumber person, totally load up on them. I know they're fresh and you can only eat like so many in a week or whatever, but this is the way to go. Okay. So here, what do we see? Another deal uh, for seafood at, at Aldi's. Now, typically they have these sealed in like one pound ish packs. Double check those because also if you watched my haul last week, we found at least one package that was marked down with a $2 off sticker. Start watching these because typically all through Lent, at least at my store, I see these, I tons of these marked down and typically I will get many of them uh, and leave and stick them in my freezer and they're great. 
I'm not excited about this or this down here, $1.69. Now, this one is a three pound average weight. It specifically says that because it's different than the five pound. So you just multiply $1.70. We're looking at $5 and like 10 cents, $5 and seven cents um, is your typical tray. And I will tell you that I think boneless, skinless chicken thighs are better than boneless, skinless chicken breasts. That is my personal opinion. Your mileage may vary. It's amazing. My favorite, one of my favorite things to, to get. So this is a go to town on this. You can bring them home, break them down into meal size packs, whatever that is, two, four, six, eight breasts or um, uh, thighs, stick them in some Ziplocs, put them in the freezer, you will not be sorry. Okay, so I'm going to fold this over because I need to show you. So if you notice, we've had many red prices here. And then as we get down here to this, there's like no red prices. So what that means is, is with Aldi's, they code their ads. A red price means it's on sale. A black price means it is not on sale aka a regular price so all of these things not on sale again just like the center section of of the save a lot ad what you need to know is that these items are on hand this is the price for them and that you don't have to feel a sense of urgency to stock up or to get it before it's gone these are all hey stay on your new year's diet marketing things so that's what this is they do have a keto friendly pizza and uh if anyone gets that you should totally comment below and tell me how that is because it's got cheese on it and i can't eat cheese so i can't test it for you but um i'm curious about that that's a new product because i know at our store we haven't had that but we have had the keto bread and we have had the keto ice cream which you can't have because it's full of milk but on the inside Again, we have no red prices here. So they're carrying these pretty much on the regular. Usually antibacterial soap is not something I would go to all these for, but since times are strange and we have the coronavirus, there's been a many more disinfectant type situations. Um, now I am gonna say, as we move down here into the all these fine section, um, when you get to the AOS, which is, depending on who you are, the Isle of Savings, the Isle of Seasonal, or the Isle of Shame. <laughs> um, when you get down there, they're going to have red prices. You're going to see it here and you're going to see it here. But those do not actually denote a sale. They just kind of are trying to get your attention because this product, number one, is going to go away in like three weeks or two weeks, depending on your store and how fast they sell. And they are not going to ever go back to a regular price. This is what the price is. So red and black for the regular rest of the store, sale, not sale. Isle of Savings, it's just the price. They just want you to see it because they think it's a better deal than usual. Um... I don't typically spend a lot of time talking about the stuff here uh, unless I have something and I can personally recommend it. We have a lot of fitness items, again, to go with like the keto kind of thing. Um, and that has to do with like staying on your New Year's diet. That's awesome. The one thing that I will say about Aldi's um, equipment is if you are a person that might want to have something that is a pricier purchase and you're kind of not sure about it. A lot of times Aldi's will have things like maybe you want to get this ab wheel, but you don't want to spend $40 on it. You can buy the ab wheel at Aldi's and roll out and back and see if it works for you. And you can do that at a much lower price point. So you can enter the market, so to speak, by trying it out. They have a K-Cup coffee maker. They've had steam mops. Um, they had a treadmill like two weeks ago. All of those things were super duper cheap. So they're not the best quality. Like I don't expect to buy things that in this section normally that are going to last me for like till my children can take them as I pass them down. But 
it is a good entry so that I can see, oh, I'm totally going to use that. Oh, these K-cups work for me. Oh, I use that treadmill every day. I'm going to go spend $1,000 on a full feature one. Um, so like your hand weights and stuff like that. Great, great way to go in. Um, I feel like none of these are particularly a great deal. They just happen to have them at Aldi. So all the really good deals are here. Your cucumbers, your oranges, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Okay, so I appreciate you watching. Hey, don't forget, my kids are still selling Girl Scout cookies. Um, there is a link tree link. It says link tr dot e e or anyway. If you follow that, you can click into um, either Evelyn or Lillian's cookie page. Please spend five dollars and donate a cookie. Uh, a box of cookies to Operation Sweet Appreciation. That is cookies that are delivered to deployed military personnel um, all around the world. Anybody that is deployed is actually eligible to receive that. So it's not just like in Iraq or Afghanistan. It can be anywhere that they're deployed. So um, maybe spend 10 and do one under each girl's account because I don't believe that we've reached our goal to get our patch for that yet. Um, so... Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment down below with even just some happy emojis or say hi or what you find is the best deals. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.